Let's look at these two problems, starting with the one on the left. 18 times 10 to the third. Now you'll see this caret here. That's another way for us to represent 10 to the third. Um, the third power. Basically what that is saying is 10 to the third. This is equal to 10 times itself three times. So 10 times 10 times 10. So if we're going to multiply 10 times 10, we'll get 100. And then 100 times 10 more will give us 1,000. So this question is asking, what is 18 groups of 1,000? Well, 18 times 1,000 would just equal 18,000. But there's a little trick you can use to help you solve these problems. You could see that we're starting with the number 18. That's a whole number. Now, up here, this 3 tells you how many zeros are going to be in the product. So, if we have 3 zeros and we started with 18, we can just add those 3 zeros for a total of 18,000. What's important is this only works with whole numbers. As we'll see in the example to the right here, when you have a decimal place, it works a little differently. So, over here we have 1.45 times 10 squared. Now remember, 10 squared would be equal to 10 times 10, or 100. So the question is saying, what is 1.45 times 100? When we're working with powers of 10, what happens is, in a multiplication problem, the decimal point stays where it is, but all other numbers shift this many places, two places in this case, to the left. So... The 1 moves over 1, 2, the 4 moves over 1, 2, and the 5 moves over right before the decimal point. And you have 145 and then the decimal point. Now you can see there's nothing after the decimal point, which means that these are all just zeros. So you could say 145.00, or we just call that a whole number of 145. The decimal point stayed where it was, and the power, in this case, the second power told us the other numbers moved two to the left.